Welcome to the USA Hockey Officiating Department's Clip of the Week. In this week's segment, we'll review Rule 610, Delaying the Game, particularly Section E, when the net is dislodged. In our first example, you'll see the goaltender slides across the goal crease and into the post dislodging the net. As a result, play is stopped immediately. In this situation as an official, you will have to determine if Section E of Rule 610 for delay of game comes into effect. It reads, play shall be stopped immediately when the goal frame has been displaced from its normal position. A minor penalty shall be assessed to any player, including a goalkeeper, who deliberately displaces the goal frame. Here, the cause of the dislodged net is determined to be a result of fair play with no infraction on the play. The resulting faceoff is inside the zone. Let's take a look at another example shortly thereafter from the same game. In this example, there's a loose puck near the goal mouth. The goalkeeper reaches for the puck while a defending player and attacking player continue towards the loose puck. As a result, the net is dislodged. Again, the cause of the dislodged net is determined to be a result of fair play with no infraction on the play. The resulting face-off is inside the zone. Officials need to be aware of any player's intentions to deliberately dislodge the net. You should also be aware of goalkeepers who make habit of dislodging the net and assess minor penalties for Rule 610 in appropriate instances. In the two examples we saw, officials correctly determined there was no deliberate attempt to dislodge the net on either play. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.